looking at the latest generation Audi A4 saloon. If that wasn't immediately obvious, blame the understated, evolutionary looks that look barely different to the model it ousted. This is a deliberate ploy by Audi, the A4's success is absolutely crucial for the firm, so why change a popular recipe? Once again it battles the excellent BMW 3 Series as well as the Mercedes C-Class saloon, in addition to class pretenders in the forms of the Jaguar and Lexus's saloon. It's one of the most competitive areas of the new car market, and where profit and loss are concerned, the A4 is make or break. Extensive and efficient engine range with so many cars of this type bought for company use it's no surprise efficiency is a key denominator for choice in this segment and it's why this generation of Audi A4 saloon is up to 24% more efficient than the model it replaces. This despite its engines boasting up to 25% more power. There's no shortage of choice, with a range of petrol and diesel engines, alongside the option of 6-speed manual or 7 and 8-speed automatic gearboxes, the former a dual-clutch system. Highlights include the 2.0-litre four-cylinder diesels, badged ultra, generating 150 horsepower and 190 horsepower depending upon which you choose. The best bit? The fact that the 150 horsepower edition manages to emit just 99 grams slash km of CO2 and claims an average fuel economy of over 74 miles per gallon. Of course, it's unlikely to achieve that in the real world, but close to 60 miles per gallon should be eminently possible. More power for top line Audi A4S other engines of note include the 3.0 litre V6 DDI diesel with 218 horsepower and a 6.3 second 0 to 62 miles per hour time all combined with 61.4 miles per gallon and 119 grams slash km. There's also a 272 horsepower addition if you want to go even faster. Even the petrol engines make a nod to efficiency, with the 1.4 litre TFSI producing 150 horsepower and emitting 126 grams slash km with over 50 miles per gallon on the cards. The pair of 2.0 litre TFSIs, with 190 horsepower and 252 horsepower, return between 51.4 miles per gallon and 45.6 miles per gallon, with CO2 emissions of 127 grams slash km and 141 grams slash km respectively. Those seeking even greater performance should take note of the S4 saloon introduced in summer 2016. Powered by a new 3.0 litre turbocharged V6 petrol. 354 horsepower is on offer, propelling the S4 from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.7 seconds and onto a governed top speed of 155 miles per hour. Well equipped at all trim levels, there are four equipment lines available, ranging from say through Sport and S line, with the S4 sitting as a standalone flagship. Regardless of which you choose, each Audi A4 saloon is well equipped, and even the entry level cars come with 17 inch alloy wheels, xenon headlights. 3-zone climate control, keyless start, Bluetooth connectivity and cruise control. Sport models gain more aggressive alloy wheels and figure-hugging seats, plus sat-nav and an upgraded stereo is fitted. Choose an S-Line and your Audi A4 saloon gains 18-inch alloys, LED headlights, 20mm lower suspension and subtle body styling upgrades. Understated styling works well there's a subtle aggression about the S4 with its unique bumpers and grills a discreet rear diffuser and exterior accents picked out in various shades of pale grey. Of course, the options list is vast, and your pockets will need to be deep should you wish to personalise your RDA4 saloon. Choices include 14 colours of paint, various alloy wheel designs and diameters, a choice of suspensions, standard and adaptively damped, differing headlight technologies, seat upholsteries and interior trims, plus a variety of technology and safety packs. Exemplary interior quality there's no change here for Audi, with a cabin quality that betters all of its competitors and sets the new benchmark for materials, fit, finish and restrained design. Elements of the firm's other cars are evident, from the full-length air vent strip borrowed from the Q7 to the virtual cockpit display first seen on the Audi TT. There are other elements to delight, with the inductive toggle style switches used to control the climate settings, the driver-focused center console and the tablet-style screen atop of it which looks far slicker with a high-quality magnesium surround, than some rival systems. The verdict the big question that needs answering first is whether you'd buy this over a BMW 3 Series or Mercedes-Benz C-Class. The answer is surprisingly complex, in terms of residual values, interior quality and motorway refinement, 
the Audi takes the class spoils. But if you're after a car that delivers a finely nuanced driving experience, you may want to look elsewhere, probably in BMW's or Jaguar's direction. But for most drivers, the Audi A4 doesn't just hit the mark, it smashes it. Read the full Audi A4 saloon review to find out if this is the compact executive car to covet. Four petrol engines and a quartet of diesels 2.0 TDI 150 horsepower ultra dips under 100 grand slash km of CO2 range topping performance from the S4. There's a massive range of engines available for this car, especially if you favor diesel power, and Audi A4 saloon performance is fairly wide ranging. Four petrol powered choices for the regular A4 saloon range, there are three to choose from, ranging from 1.4 to 2.0 liters in capacity all with four cylinders and turbocharging. The 1.4 liter TFSI is used throughout the Volkswagen Group range, with good reason, developing 150 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque, it possesses smooth refinement that would be the envy of many far larger engines. It'll even sprint from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 8.7 seconds, 8.5 for the automatic. Top speed is 130 miles per hour. It's only available in say and sport trims though, so if your heart is set on S-line specification, the entry-level petrol engine is the 190 horsepower 2.0 liter TFSI. In many ways, an even more exciting proposition, and not just for its extra 40 horsepower, but for its identical CO2 emissions. Compared with the 1.4 liter automatic, it produces the same amount of CO2 out of the tailpipe despite producing a far meteor 320 newton meters of torque. The 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint is taken care of in 7.3 seconds while top speed is 149 miles per hour sitting above that is the 252 horsepower 2.0 liter turbocharged petrol, with 370 newton meters of torque available from just 1600 revolutions per minute, which feels as urgent as its 5.8 second 0 to 62 miles per hour time suggests. It's only available with Quant Row 4 wheel drive and 7 speed automatic gearbox, but comes complete with an encouraging sound track. Performance oriented S4 joining the lineup in summer 2016, the 3.0 litre turbocharged V6 S4 saloon has 354 horsepower at its disposal, as well as 500 newton meters of torque from just 1370 revolutions per minute. Transmitting that power to all four wheels is an 8-speed Tiptronic automatic and Audi's Quattro drivertrain. Although top speeds electronically limited to 155 miles per hour, the sprint from 0 to 62 miles per hour takes just 4.7 seconds. Audi A4 saloon diesel engines The choice of diesel engines is as broad, with a pair of 2.0-litre units boasting differing outputs, 150 horsepower and 190 horsepower and two 3.0-litre V6 diesels with 218 horsepower or 272 horsepower. Even more economical additions of the 2.0-litre TDIs, badged Ultra, offer almost the same degree of performance with superior efficiency. The entry-level 150 horsepower 2.0 TDI manages the 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint in 8.9 seconds, 8.7 with the automatic and the higher power 190 horsepower model completes the same in 7.7 seconds, 7.2 for the Quattro. Torque figures are 320 and 400 newton meters respectively. Top speeds vary from 130 miles per hour for the manual 150 horsepower 2.0 litre TDI Ultra, to 149 miles per hour for the manual 190 horsepower 2.0 litre TDI. The 190 horsepower version feels more urgent in day-to-day -day driving, and doesn't lose any of the refinement of the 150 horsepower model, so if you can afford the extra outlay we'd heartily recommend the upgrade, albeit in ultra guise. And if money, or company car tax stipulations, are of little concern, then it's worth trying the V6 cars, as even the 218 horsepower model, with its 400 newton meters, can accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 6.3 seconds, all while returning over 60 miles per gallon and, when fitted with 17-inch alloys, emitting just 119 grams slash km of CO2. Top speed is 155 miles per hour. It's a refined and ample filling engine, offering up all the performance you'll ever need in everyday driving, especially on the motorway where its slow down pulling power comes into its own. Even the 272 horsepower version, 
complete with quattro four-wheel drive and eight-speed automatic gearbox as standard, returns over 54 miles per gallon and emits just 129 grams slash km. Despite its 5.3 second 0 to 62 miles per hour time and 155 miles per hour top speed. You can thank its massive 600 newton meters of torque for that. Three gearbox options on offer depending on which engine you go for. There are three different gearbox options on offer. The 6 speed manual is slick, precise and easy to use and comes as standard on the 1.4 liter petrol and 2.0 liter diesel engines. A 7-speed S-Tronic is available or standard on all engines but the 272-horsepower 3.0-litre diesel and offers smooth, quick changes. Finally, the 8-speed Tiptronic, only available on the 272-horsepower 3.0-litre diesel, is relaxing and refined, but can be a little lazy and doesn't suit being driven quickly. Sharper to drive than before Audi Drive Select standard adaptive dampers and Quattro four-wheel drive available the old car was criticized for lifeless steering and dull handling, not so this iteration of Audi A4. While the steering may still lack the final degree of feedback of a BMW 3 Series saloon, the helm now transfers more information than before, is ideally weighted, in comfort mode, and completely linear in its response. Combined with very little body roll, which provides a flat and confidence-inspiring cornering attitude, the A4 is pleasant to drive quickly. That said, you'd be hard-pushed to class it as engaging or thrilling to drive. Audi Drive Select system like other models in the Volkswagen Group range, the Audi A4 saloon benefits from a configurable drive select system, with four distinct modes, comfort, auto, efficiency, dynamic plus individual to allow for mixed settings, that alter steering feel and throttle response, among other factors. Our test examples all benefited from adaptive dampers too, which are also affected by the drive select system, and provided our examples with a neat balance of comfort and control. Especially when combined with Quattro four-wheel drive, which has plenty of grip, allowing you to have absolute faith in the car and its traction levels, whatever the weather. Sport your S4 experience not only has the performance of the Audi S4 saloon been ramped up, the firm's taken measures to make it more engaging to drive, with a degree of success. Its suspension's been lowered by 23mm compared with regular Ray 4S and along with Quattro four-wheel drive, the S4 features torque vectoring, gently braking the inside wheels as you corner, allowing you to maintain a tighter line at higher speed. Audi recognizes that its sportier derivatives need more pizzas hence 60% of the S4's power is automatically directed to the rear wheels. It does make it a little more playful when the traction control's switched off. Although this can be amplified further with an optional sports differential to meter out the power to whichever rear wheel has the best traction. Quality interior better than competition simple, stylish design breaks no new ground plenty of clever on board technology available Audi is a company famed for its interiors, and it's no different with the new A4 saloon, which boasts the best quality and neatest, if not the most exciting, design of the compact executive class. There are similarities with the Volkswagen Passat and even more so with the Audi Q7, thanks to the full-width event graphic. That 7-inch multimedia screen looks like it should fold away, as per the Audi A6, but is, in fact, permanently fixed. Choose an A4 saloon in a high enough specification and you can enjoy the firm's virtual cockpit system, which displays all relevant information, from sat-nav, audio, telephone and regular dials, on a multi-configurable 12.3-inch LCD screen replacing the standard instruments. It's essentially the same as the system found on the TT and Q7 models, the former of which does without a central screen in addition, and makes an impressive, if not essential, addition to the cabin. Intuitive controls and excellent build quality it's essentially the same as the system found on the TT and Q7 models, though unlike the former, which makes do without a central screen in addition, we're not sure it's worth the extra outlay. As you'd expect, each element of switch gear feels reassuringly solid, with fine design and neat detailing and we especially like the conductive toggle switch style climate controls. The MMI rotary controller, with fingertip input, is especially easy to use and the three-spoke steering wheel found in our test cars comfortable to hold. Seat adjustment, along with that of the steering wheel, is ample and we found no issues getting into a comfortable driving position. Ride quality is a highlight especially with adaptive dampers double glazing option keeps exterior noise down on the road the A4's quieter than the flagship A8 the Audi A4's comfort levels are very good on standard suspension, rising to excellent when fitted with the optional adaptive damping system. 
ride comfort is a particular highlight, and with the constantly reacting dampers, it even manages to carry off larger wheels without massive issue, generally combating any lump or bump it encounters in the road with ease. Wind noise is equally impressive, the firm having cut the saloon's drag coefficient down to CD 0.23 and claiming the cabin of the compact executive now betters the firm's A8 luxury saloon for serenity on the move. It certainly seems this way in practice, the A4 moving with impressive grace and tranquility, though again all our test examples were fitted with the optional double glazing. Familiar Audi grades of say, Sport, S-Line and S4 all cars are generously appointed huge range of options and technology available despite a massive range of options, Audi A4 saloon trim levels are easy to follow, plus standard equipment is generous, even on the more basic models. There are four models in the hierarchy, laid out as say, Sport, S-Line and S4. Standard Audi A4 saloon equipment if you decide the entry level say specification A4 is the car for you, you'll be pleasantly surprised at just how much equipment is included as standard. On the outside your A4 saloon will be wearing 17-inch alloy wheels and sporting xenon headlights with distinctive LED daytime running lights. Inside it's packed with kit and neat details, such as 3-zone climate control, keyless start, cruise control, slick three-spoke steering wheel and MMI radio plus with smartphone interface and Bluetooth connectivity. There's a 7-inch color infotainment screen on top of the dashboard, an auto-dimming rear view mirror and rear parking sensors to ensure you don't damage that sharp exterior. Meanwhile the standard multi-collision brake assist and pre-sense city ensure you don't have any unexpected accidents. You can adapt the way the car drive thanks to drive select, while the improved stop Start system switches off the engine when coasting to improve efficiency. Upgrading to the sport models changes the design of those 17-inch alloy wheels and the rear gains a different diffuser design and finish. The interior gets sports seats as standard, still covered in cloth, alongside satnav and an upgraded Audi sound system with 10 speakers. Those keen on the S-Line models will notice the 1-inch larger alloy wheels alongside model-specific bumpers and side sills to create a sportier look and LED headlights and taillights complete with the firm's dynamic indicators. The suspension is lowered by 20mm too, though you can elect to stick with normal springs for no extra cost, we'd suggest you do. Inside the seats are finished in a mixture of leather and cloth, while the steering wheel is badged as an S-Line version. Range-topping S4 saloon derivatives are visually distinctive thanks to pale grey grille accents, unique front and rear bumpers with more aggressively chamfered grills and suspension lowered by 20mm compared with say models. The cabin's similar to S-Line models but with even more black colored fittings and brushed aluminium appliques. Audi's virtual cockpit comes as standard on the S4, too, with a unique setting allowing an electronic rev counter to be at the center of the screen. Optional Audi A4 saloon accessories as you'd expect, the options available for the A4 saloon are extensive, and as long as you have deep enough pockets you can customize your Audi in a number of ways. There are 15 paint colors to choose from across the range. While there is a selection of alloy wheels that range from 17 to 19 inches in diameter, with varying designs. Slightly more confusingly, there's a choice of suspension too, incorporating comfort, dynamic, sport, adaptive sport and adaptive S sport, S4 only, with all sport setups lowered by 20mm over standard. You can also add dynamic steering to the S4. There's a handful of options for upgrading the lights too. With the S-Line's LED headlights available as an upgrade over the Xenons found as standard on the Say and Sport models while the firm's excellent Matrix LED technology is also available. Those looking to complete long distances can add the 54-litre fuel tank on 2.0-litre diesel models, increasing the size from 40 litres, while you can double the capacity of the Add Blue tank at the same time. There's a choice of cloth, leather and alcantara and leather mixes for the seats in different colors and shades while you can add heated elements to both front and back chairs should you wish. A number of option packs can improve the ambience of the A4's interior too, with a choice of LED interior lighting pack, extended interior upholstery pack, technology pack, larger 8.3-inch screen with 7-inch central display between main instruments, Audi Connect and Audi phone box with wireless charging, comfort and sound pack, electrically adjustable seat and bang and all offers in 3D sound system and the Vision Pack which includes the virtual cockpit with head-up display and high beam assist. The Driver Assistance Pack is available in standard, tour and advanced modes and includes items such as Turn Assist, Collision Avoidance Assistant, 
Active Lane Assist and Adaptive Cruise Control and Predictive Efficiency Assist. Massive range of driver assistance systems on offer 5 star Euro and Cap Crash Test Rating Quattro 4 wheel drive and matrix LED headlamps available with 30 driver assistance systems. The A4 safety is as impressive as any other model in the firm's range, or indeed those of its rivals. Needless to say, it achieved the full 5 star safety rating from European safety regulators Euro and Cap. Highlights include turn assist, which stops you mistakenly turning across the front of oncoming traffic. Exit warning which detects traffic and warns occupants about to open their door into it plus adaptive cruise control with stop and go plus traffic jam assistant which will maintain a preset speed or distance from the car in front, while steering, even in heavy traffic. Unsurprisingly, the Audi A4 saloon scored a full 5 star rating when it was crash tested by the experts at Euron Cap. State of the art headlamps every A4 gets sent on headlights as standard but the firm's matrix LED headlight option uses separately controlled LEDs and reflectors to shut off high beam when it detects other road users or sources of light. It even uses GPS information to determine whether it should switch from left-hand to right-hand traffic illumination. An optional head-up display means you don't have to take your eyes off the road to absorb information on the move, plus the Quattro models have four-wheel drive to hopefully keep you away from a crash in the first place. How many Isofix car seats can I fit in an Audi A4 saloon? 2. Positioned on the outer rear seats. There's plenty of space back there for them, just beware that the A4 saloon body style means you may have to bend down in order to install the seats. Spacious enough for family's impressive 480 litre boot expense to 965 litres with rear seats folded note, though, that due to a large transmission tunnel running down the centre of the car, room in the middle seat in the rear is severely compromised. A top tip would be to spec the optional storage pack which adds a storage net on the back of the front seats, a lockable glove box, a cup holder in the rear center armrest and a bag hook, 12V socket and luggage net in the boot. The Audi A4 might not be as tall and bulky looking as an equivalent Q5 or even a Q3, but don't let that deceive you, it's still a sizable vehicle. Fear not, though, as all-round visibility is pretty good, while standard fit front and rear parking sensors mean it's not hard to judge its extremities. And, if that's not enough, a rear view camera, top view, bird's eye view of the car when parking, and automatic parking are all available for a little extra cash. The A-Force boot space is up there with the best in class thanks to a capacious 480 litres of luggage space with the rear seats in place, and 965 litres with them down. The load bay, although restricted by the smaller boot lid, when compared to a hatchback, is usefully flat and square, perfect for sliding larger items in. Plus, should you go to fold the rear seats down you'll be pleased to note they operate with a 40 hours 20 minutes 40 seconds split, meaning the middle and two outer seats can be collapsed independently.